Good people of Good Shepherd, grace and peace be with you. I want to just take a moment to talk to you a little bit about the Eucharist and offer you an option for this Sunday. So the Eucharist is, as Episcopalians, that's the high point of our liturgy. It's a time when we gather around the altar and share a meal and we miss it so much, at least I do, that gathering and the sharing and the sense of common mission and ministry. It's a way that we act that out in the service and affirm it every Sunday. And the fact that during COVID we can't get together, we can't gather in the space, see one another's faces and all share of the bread and the wine together is painful. But I will say that it gives us an opportunity to recover the roots of that meal. That meal was a meal shared at home. Uh, Rabbi Jesus and his disciples traveled a lot, but they ate their meals in people's homes and that Passover meal that turned into the Eucharist was based on a family meal, the story of families celebrating a meal before they left Egypt. So during COVID, we have this opportunity to gather around our family tables and get to the deep roots of that meal and remember that it's not cardboard wafers in a liturgical space which is, comes much later, it really was bread and wine, which were the staples of every meal in the ancient Mediterranean world and continue to be for much of the world. It was the staples of life shared with those we love. And that's at the heart of the Eucharist. That's what it is, that, that's what it means. And every meaning other than that is layered on top of that reality. So Jesus was giving us a symbol, giving us something to do, something to share together that was already part of our everyday lives. We didn't need a special space. We didn't need any special equipment. We didn't need any special words, although certainly the Jewish tradition provided them and they blessed their food at every meal, just as you might do around your kitchen table with your family at night. So this week, I invite you to come pick up a wafer that has been consecrated already. So it's already the body of Christ. I blessed it last Sunday in church online. I hope you were with me. Come and get that bread and share it around your table at home. Sunday during the Eucharist, you can do it during the communion, or you might even do it around your uh, dinner table. So let me show you. Each wafer is packaged in a small envelope like this. Some of them have nice stickers that Mary made. This one does not. You just get the get the clip off the top. You want to be careful and not cut the wafer, obviously. And here is the blessed sacrament. And I know you know this from practicing Eucharist every Sunday at church, but I'll just remind you. So it, I would invite you to share this with your family if you have other family members at home rather than just consume it yourself because that's what Jesus was doing and his disciples. They were sharing the bread. So if I were to share this bread, say with my husband or one of my daughters, I would look them in the eye. I would say, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. And then I would place it in their hand. And then they would eat it. And then they would do the same for me. They would take one of these Eucharistic wafers, which has already been blessed. And they would look me in the eye and say, the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. And then put it in my hand and I would eat it. Until you consume the wafers, I would ask that you store them in a respectful place that's set aside. So maybe you have a shelf somewhere where you could put a candle or a cross and just put these blessed Eucharistic wafers there until you're ready to consume them with your family. 
please come by the church to pick up as many wafers as you need. I've blessed a hundred, so there should be plenty, and I can always bless more if we need them. And I invite you this Sunday during the Eucharist to consume with us as you watch online or as part of your family meal. You might say a blessing over your dinner, you might say the Lord's Prayer, and then share the Eucharist together. Let this time of COVID be an opportunity for us to sink ourselves deeply into the rituals and the meanings and the symbols of life that God has given us. Amen.